All right, hey guys. So, um, been kind of wanting to do this video for a while, but really couldn't figure out uh, how to talk about it because it's kind of different. So, this is an induction plate, and um, there's not really like a whole lot of information on these. They're still kind of new to the U.S. and I think really the rest of the world. I mean, they use them from time to time, and they're kind of different. So, um, what is an induction plate? So it uses a magnet, and then the magnet um, you have to. So basically, the magnet sends a pulse back and forth and just heats up the pot. Um, the only downside, one of the downsides of these, is that you have to have a magnetic surface um, um, underbody on them so uh let's see so like this one it's magnetic so it'll work um any of your other ones they'll always say like induction yes or no you you know you have to have very specific that's the only downside to these is that you have to have very very specific um pots and pans and stuff like that cookware the other thing is though too is the mag even if it's magnetized if it, like this one i don't know if they're all like this but this one in particular we have a very small pan i think it's and yeah, it's in the um in the dishwasher it's a little bit smaller than this and this one doesn't recognize it sometimes so uh like if you turn it on it's searching now to go to error so that's the issue that we have with the smaller uh, pots or pans stuff like that that's one of the, the two downsides is if it's too small it won't recognize if it's not magnetic it, you know it won't work but with these it's like having a you know a gas stove so it whenever you reduce the temperature you know make it go up it it does it very quickly just like a gas stove it's way better than these because these are inefficient and then your glass top stoves are basically with the coil underneath the glass. This is kind of like a glass top, but you know, there's a magnet. So to kind of look, let you see, there's a fan underneath to keep it uh, cool. And, um, you know, it has a big cord. It just plugs in. These are roughly about 1800 watts. That's what they're rated for. Um, I don't actually know how much it uses. Um, we use this thing all the time. We use it on setting number five for the most part, and we're, we're pretty good. We love, we actually rarely use this now. If we need to cook a lot of stuff, then yeah, we'll use this. But for the most part, this is what we use all the time. And uh, we actually noticed when we started using this that our energy bill went down a little bit. So that's one good thing about that. Um, we, uh, we absolutely love it. It was cheap. It was like 45 bucks, I want to say. And, um, they're they're great they're very efficient you don't have to these do get hot you know there there's a misconception that you know with induction it doesn't get hot blah 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 blah. these do get hot because the metal is transferring the heat to this but they are safer than something like this or a gas stove because if you spill oil it's not going to react unless it's like super super hot which this one doesn't really get that hot it gets hot but it doesn't get as hot as like this or glass top no, glass tops do can catch on fire these we've i've spilled oil i've never had an issue i'm not saying to spill oil but uh, that's a good thing um these actually cool off a lot quicker than like your glass tops you know your glass tops will stay hot for a long time these will stay hot for probably maybe 30 minutes to an hour glass tops i've seen all day you know, or a couple hours, more than a couple hours. But what I wanted to do is show you the difference between using this and using this. I don't have a gas stove, obviously, um, or a glass top, but at least most people I think are, are, especially in apartments, are coming with these. So I wanted to show you what the difference is on heat up time versus this and this. So my control is going to be uh, four cups of water, so I use this, four cups of water, and then I'll put this to the highest setting. So what time is it? It is 
consistency. There it goes. Now it recognized, and I'll put it all the way up to 10. So we'll get that uh, boiling. Once it gets boiled, we'll look at the time. I'll just jump to it. I'm not gonna fast forward or anything like that. I'll just jump to it. And we'll see how long it takes to boil this water. And then once it's done, we'll pour it out, get this all nice and cool. So it's the same temperature as what I had it now. And then we'll jump to this. Um, just uh, one other thing that I have noticed with the smaller pots and pans is that whenever you, the higher the setting, at least on this one, I don't know if they're all like this, but at least on this one, uh, the issue that I've noticed a lot is that whenever you put it, say, anything above five, you have a lot of coal wine, and it can be very annoying. It actually kind of hurts your ears. My wife is more sensitive to it than I am on uh, setting 10 or setting seven, I think it is. Um, it annoys me, but it's not like, very bad unless it's unless it's the very small one if it works um that's the one thing that i think is kind of weird about these that the, they do have a coal line at least on this one maybe the more fancier and expensive ones don't maybe there's more shielding i don't know um so let me get this boiled up and then i'll be back so while waiting for this oh no it's not doing it earlier it was doing a coal one i was trying to catch it can hear it there it goes so that's one of the things issues it does which can get kick can get annoying it doesn't really bother me too much you can see it's already almost boiled up well, I'll be back once it's done all right so it's uh, 257 it was about 256 but about 256, 257, so what is that? Um, six minutes to boil, six, seven minutes to boil. It's the full boil as well, so not too bad. So um, let's get this. And I did did whatever is coming out of the faucet I didn't do it on hot water because to speed up anything that you need to boil whether it's in the microwave whether it's um, on the stove on this I always do hot water that comes out of the faucet because it actually helps make it go faster because it's less that it has to heat up so let me get this cooled off and then uh, we'll go to the stove all right, so we got four cups of water, so you can see, and then pour it in here. So four cups of water, it's all cooled off. Let's see, I'll touch it just so you, <coughs> so you can tell. See, it's cold. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna put it on this one because if you put it on this one big and you actually you uh, have a loss of heat don't ever put a small too small of a pan or pot on the coil because then you actually lose some of your heat you always want to do it where the pot or pan is bigger than the coil at least the bottom so you get full contact and you're not wasting electricity wasting heat that goes even for gas so been so long I've used this I don't remember which one so we'll put it on the highest setting which is there we'll wait for it to heat up and go from there I forgot it is 301 so 301 is start and then we'll go from there all right so now this is at a full boil it's 311 so it took about 10 minutes to boil this and this is it still at the full thing so there there is quite a bit of a difference you know you're looking at about five six minutes versus 10 minutes so and that you know if you cook a lot you know that that equates to a lot of minutes per day especially if you cook in the morning and then cook uh, dinner you know you're you're looking at you know just say twice twice a day you're looking at 10 minutes you're saving per day 
and say six at least five or six days a week that's you know a whole hour you're saving that you're not having to worry about um, so that's that's actually pretty interesting I didn't know if it was that much I knew it did save us time but I didn't know how much I just knew that this is better um, but to give this the benefit of the doubt <clears throat> there are better coils out there um, I'm not sure exactly how much better but as far as I know a couple years back I looked and seen if there was something better than these and they they're different grades of coils so will they make a difference I have no idea if you have uh, better coils or a glass top let me know how much uh, you know how long it took leave it down in below um, especially the gas stove it's a uh, four um, four cups I think this is like a six cup uh, pot so if you want to try to do something similar to this, and if you have a gas stove or a glass top, uh, leave down below how long it took you to boil water at the max, and uh, we can do some comparisons. So, if uh, you like stuff like this, uh, like the video, leave a comment down below, and um, let me know what else you would like to see. You know, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, hit that bell icon. We try to produce videos as often as we can, but uh, no schedule just yet. And um, yeah, <laughs> thanks for watching and do what inspires you. Thanks.